Welcome to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Angela Miller Bevan, and Angela is the CEO and Executive Director of Unity Shop. Welcome, Angela. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, yeah. Boy, lots of things going on at Unity Shop these days, always, but I mean, now. Very busy. Yeah. Yeah, we've been, we've been very extremely busy. I don't know how much everyone knows about us, but we actually have seven programs. So um, those programs are running all year long. So we have our spring campaign, our fall campaign, and like most people know about us is our annual holiday telethon, right. which is our big event. But we also have our free store, and we work with 400 referring agencies. So 400 refer, yeah. that's quite a collaboration. It really is, and it's amazing because they refer them to us, and then people can come to our free store and get food essentials and gently used clothing with no money involved. So they are able to come and choose whatever they want. So they're not being given something. They're actually coming in and shopping off our shelves that is just like a grocery store. So do they have to bring a little um, paper to show that they've been referred or do they just walk in or how does so that So we work? have on our website, the referring agencies have access to our website. They fill out their name and information. It comes to us and then they come in and they check in and all they have to show us is their driver's license. Oh. So, so it makes it very, very simple and an easy process. Yeah, yeah. that's great. 400. I know, it's amazing. Yes, that it is. is amazing. And then we have our volunteer program where we have over 1,700 people a year coming through to volunteer for to us. volunteer. At our seven, seven different programs. So the food store is the first program. We also have a Seniors Helping Seniors, which is our senior program where we have senior men that are woodworking oh. and then women that are knitting and quilting and they all work together with our ladies who make over 3,000 gifts for people in assisted living, skilled nursing or housebound people that during the holidays don't have, don't get gifts. Yeah. And they all work together to create this wonderful program for the seniors. And we actually Gosh. have a senior lady who's just turned 95. Oh. Jan Hawkins, and she's been with us for 30 years. She drives, she bowls, she's amazing, and she runs the senior center. So she is just a gift. 95. Yeah, so it's amazing to see the seniors helping the other seniors. And they also, during the holidays, they will do Easter baskets for the kids that come through our doors. They do Mother's Day gifts, mm. they do Father's Day gifts, so it's, Everybody's working together within Unity Shop to help as many people as they possibly can. So if somebody's watching this and they say, oh gosh, I sure would like to um, get one of those referrals, do they go on your website and then they just contact one of the 400 organizations or how does that work? So anybody that walks through our door, we will take them in as a one-time referral. Okay, okay. And they can utilize all of our services that first time and then we help connect them with a referring oh. agency. So then the referring agency will then refer them back to us. That's great. But we also work with USDA, the food bank. Uh -huh. um, so we're constantly working with all these different organizations to make sure the people in our community are reserving the services that they need. So even though they go to the food bank and they get food there, they can still come to us and still come through our doors, mm -hmm. which makes sure that they are getting food every day. So this, let's go back to the 1,700 volunteers. Um, what kinds of things might a person expect to do? I mean, they probably could pick and choose what they want to do, but what are some of the options they might have? So in our free store, we're functioning like a, like a store, a department store mm -hmm. or a grocery store would run. So we have donations coming in from Whole Foods, Gelson's, Vons, um, Grocery Outlet, different stores in town. The food donations come in from them food donations come in from um, other people in the community. What comes in and it's weighed and it's inventoried mm -hmm. and it's sorted. So there's all kinds of jobs. They have to put barcodes on them, mm -hmm. they have to count the food, they have to weigh the food. Then we have our donations coming in from for uh, clothing and 
furniture, which will go in eventually to our retail store. Mm -hmm. So all of that has to be sorted, and then it has to be barcoded, inventoried, and there's just so many jobs. In our warehouse, when they're sorting, they're sorting the clothing, but they're also sorting fruits and vegetables because fruits and vegetables come in in these big boxes. So they have to be divided up and put into the bins so that the people that are coming through our doors get fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, they get chicken, they get eggs, they get all kinds of great things that they're not able to afford right now. So the volunteers are really just moving parts. They're all over, going everywhere. And then some of those volunteers are the seniors mm -hmm. that are working in the, the little shop to make the gifts and then the, the seniors that are woodworking mm -hmm. knitters all of that so there's lots of jobs and we have a great new volunteer system that's on our website and oh. you can go on and you can sign up for the hours that you want the days that you want and this is really helpful for the kids because they are required to have so many service hours mm -hmm. so for kids we all know they have sports and school and all of their activities and they can just go online, sign up, get their parents' consent, and they can go on the schedule and just pick what they want to do and where they want to go. Wow, we it's, it's like it's really an amazing thing to watch. Gosh. So I always encourage people to come down and tour. We're open for touring at all days, five days a week, from nine to five. Come down and you can actually see what is going on down at Udini Shop. Five days a week, so Monday and through it's, Friday. Yeah, and so we have all those, we have our programs going. We also, um, during the holidays, what most people know us for is our Toys for Tots drive. Mm -hmm. And that goes along with our annual holiday telethon. So during that time, we have hundreds of volunteers because they're, the toys are coming in along with food oh, donations. Sure. And everything's being sorted and tagged and done. So we always have a lot of people because everybody loves to be there during the holidays. Gosh, you ha it's amazing all the different things that you do. I know the last program is our transitional assistance program. And that's where we partner with, we've been partnering with um, Salvation Army, uh, domestic violence. Uh, we partner with just a lot of organizations that are helping getting people that are not housed or mm, don't mm -hmm, have shelter. Mm -hmm. So we're working hand in hand with them. And what happens is they come into transitional assistance and once they're housed, we provide them with beds, uh, dishes, towels, um, blankets, you know, whatever they need to furnish the housing that they're going into. And part of that also is we have clothing that's for um, going out to find a job. Oh, so we help great. them find jobs. And so they can come in and they can train in our programs at, at, in the warehouse, learn how to work in a grocery store. They can get clothing and then we work hand in hand with the library to help them get resumes. Oh. Yeah, so it's a lot of things going on. That's a great thing. Wow, so you have your free store on State Street and retail store? So we have two retail stores on two. State. Two, um, okay. A used furniture and then a, um, a gift and thrift store. And so all of the things that are donated, they go back out through the thrift store. That money that comes in helps to fund all of the programs that we have. And in the back of um, the gift and thrift, the back half of the building is the Senior Resource Center. And the back half of the building that's the furniture store is um, the transitional assistance. Okay. So when people need to go to transitional assistance, they actually go through a door like a store. It's kept separate from the thrift store and it's set up so that they can feel like they're finding clothes, it's mm -hmm. a lot more personal, and it's just, you know, it gives them the, the choice and the respect and the dignity that is what Unity Shop is all about. I love that. So, um, Unity Shop is a 501c3 it is. nonprofit, and so I bet a person could go on the website and give you a much needed financial yes. donation. Yes, you can go on our website. and. You know, another thing about, you know, we take donations all year long because mm -hmm. hunger and needs is a constant all year yeah. long. So we appreciate all donations. Uh, money's good, but also food and a lot of canned food and also items like the clothing and the okay. things. And we've been around for over 100 years. So Golly. we are one of the, the 
we're one of the oldest nonprofits yeah. in Santa Barbara. So on your website, do you have a list of things that you would like donated in addition to We money? do. We have, on our website, you can go. Um, during our spring campaign, we do a back to school event. Mm -hmm. And how that works is we started in spring so that by the time summer's over, we'll have all the back to school items for oh, the kids, okay, okay. backpacks, pencils, things like that. So we have those lists on the website to tell people the different times of year of what we're looking for. Gosh, this is just incredible. I bet you might have a story or two to share with us. I do. I have so many stories. I, I, bet I, you do. I tell everyone that's why I say come down for a tour because seeing the faces of children at, during the holidays going into the to the toy store that we have, they get all brand new toys. They're just brand new and it's amazing. But one of my stories um, is that a lady was without shelter and living on the streets mm -hmm. and she went to the Salvation Army and she was referred to us and we helped her get some clothes, get mm -hmm. her some essentials, things to get cleaned up. And then we sent her to the library to get her resume. And then she went and got a job at the 99 cent store. Wow. And now she's gonna be coming back to us because they're transitioning her into housing. Oh. So she'll be able to come to our store to get all the needs that she needs in her new apartment or house. And she'll also get to shop until she gets on her feet and so that she can get groceries. That's wonderful. I bet she might come as a volunteer someday. Well, we have, uh, I just received a letter today from a, a lady who was a volunteer and then fell on, you know, fell onto some hard times and came back and got our services and got back up on her feet and now she's working again. And it's, this community is so amazing. It's so amazing to be a part of this community. I grew up here. I'm very fortunate to still be here, but it, we pull together to help everyone around us. And yeah. Unity Shop is just so proud to be a part of that, to be a part yeah. of the community and helping. Gosh, that is so great. Over a hundred years. I know. We were started by Dr. Pearl Chase. Oh. And she started the organization. It was called Council of Christmas Cheer. Oh, gosh. And she would take used toys in and they would clean them up and take them out to the community. She realized that food was needed also. So she started to do food. And then Barbara Tellefson came to volunteer for her and ended up um, working at Unity Shop and worked at Unity Shop and kind of got it back, to, got it to where it is now with it being Unity Shop. And her and Kenny Loggins partnered years ago to start the telethon and to do the whole Toys for Tots run. Uh -huh. And so they worked together and now Kenny Loggins is still a huge supporter. Yeah. Unfortunately, Barbara has passed away, yes. but her memory lives on. She is always there. I always say to my staff, if I say something, I go, that sounds a lot like Barbara. Like I'm speaking Barbara right now. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's funny, yeah. And so you've been there almost a year. <laughs> yeah, a year. So um, Tom Reed was our executive director mm -hmm. for many years and I worked with Barbara and Tom. So I've known Unity Shop um, my whole life. Uh, my mom was a single mom yeah. and she was, you know, she took care of us and we, were, we relied on um, organizations like Unity Shop. Yeah. So very near and dear to my heart, um, but Tom retired, mm -hmm. and then the board of directors recruited me, which I'm very honored to take on that role because Tom had big shoes to fill. Yeah. But I think that we are, um, we're, our goal is to be sustainable for another 100 years. That's a good goal. Yeah, I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> you never know but <laughs> Hopefully my memory will be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the board did a great, a great job. You are obviously so passionate and knowledgeable Thank about you. the mission, about the work of Unity Shop. Yes, I am. And it's, it's um, something that I hope that, you know, I hand down to my kids. Mm -hmm. I hope that they grow up to see how important this work is. Yes, it's I important for us to have... Um, our children, yeah. at least if they don't go into nonprofits, to at least volunteer and yeah. be a part of their community. Yeah, that's a good uh, good vision to hold yeah. for your kids. <laughs> so let's see, do you think that other um, communities or cities or towns have a similar organization? It just seems so unusual. We do, well, Brad Paisley and his 
brought his kids down with his wife, Kim Paisley, and they brought their kids down to Unity Shop to volunteer. Mm -hmm. And they learned so much and enjoyed it so much that they opened, they mimicked Unity Shop in Nashville. Oh, really? And it's called The Store. And so they have their own store in Nashville. And there are other cities that have come to us to tour that hear about us and they um, want to open Unity Shops. And one of the places is San Francisco. They're working on opening one right now. And I, I believe that they've raised enough money to open more than one. So it's, the more I think we have technology and social media and people learn about what's going on mm -hmm. in the, you know, the world, people start to learn about us and th then we get to just tell them about what we're doing and hopefully they can go on to open more places like this. That's so great. And so um, I can tell you really depend on financial donations, is that we right? Do. We do. And, and, and donations of other things too, but, but really the financial donations. It is. And the financial part of it is we're very fortunate because we um, work with a lot of local donors and mm -hmm. foundations and grants and we have a, a lot of people that have been giving to us for years and it's wonderful but we are always in need of more especially with our numbers doubling we um, saw over 20,000 people last year and wow. in January we saw a little over 500 people in 2022 uh -huh. and then in 2023 we saw over a thousand so we are seeing so many more people people that have jobs they just can't quite pay for their rent their yeah. car payments their gas and at the end of the month they just can't feed their their kids yeah. or they can't feed their families and so we're seeing more people coming to us so the the need for funding is very important yeah growing so we hope that more donors um, make a contribution exactly. so you can continue to grow and meet the need exactly Okay, Angela, so we have about a minute or so left. Is there anything else you'd like our audience to know about Unity Shop? Um, just that you should come down for a visit and see oh. what we're doing. Um, it is an amazing organization. And remember to watch our holiday telethon in the month of December. It's every December, and we have lots of fun talent on that. So please check us out on KEYT. Oh, great. Yeah, so to come down for a visit, that's a wonderful thing. And to get on your website, find out more about how people can get involved. Right. And, and good. Well, thank you so much for thank all your you. good work. Thank you so much. And for telling us all about it. We You're appreciate that. Very, very welcome. And thanks for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.